Hello guys and welcome back. So we're we're watching play of the J and this is the PUBG Southeast Asia Scrim City matches tonight. So we played round one where we saw Mineski take the first chicken dinner of the evening and uh, in second position we had Frostfire from Malaysia and in third we had Mr. from P Philippines. So uh, we should be going in very soon. Uh, I think we're just double checking on the server settings at the moment so we should be ready to go any moment here and we do have all the teams inside lobby already so uh, almost all of them but we'll still be able to proceed regardless so it should be starting any second now um yeah it'll be interesting to see based on the drop positions from the last game uh whether or not the teams want to up their uh strategy a little bit i think if uh, you've been a regular watcher of the Trim City matches, you be able to see like some what some of the dropping patterns are for some. I think we saw a lot of changes here. Um, like say, for example, Resurgence, um, they they characteristically always went for military base. But then again, Scrim City is a chance for all these pro uh, Southeast Asian teams to try and mix it up a little bit and come up with uh, different strategies just to make. Uh, a more well-rounded experience for them and make sure that when it comes to the tournament they can make the right decision based on teams there what the potential meta might be for uh at that particular point in time so while well, we might see some regularity from some teams, and we will quite quite a different uh range of tactics here and so, so we did see that it went very much center and uh, southeast of Pakinki in that game uh, a lot of the teams were already occupying a lot of the, the the compounds there, forcing a lot of teams to stay on the edge of the circle. So we had teams like Mineski and Surgeons who were actually putting up a lot of uh, fire on these teams, putting a lot of pressure on them that they couldn't come in and be able to rack up a number of kills. Mineski, I think, get 15 or 12 kills, 14 kills, 14 kills to their name. Yep, 14 kills is correct. So, uh, and we are loading in for the next map, guys. So um, just stay tuned and we will be ready to get started with the next game. Um, please do give the, the page a like or uh, share the stream if you're enjoying it and you think others would enjoy watching the matches tonight. Um, I think it really does help. And I do appreciate all the any of, of comments and so any feedback that you guys might have. Uh, to make this an overall better experience for um, future streams as well. So if there's something that you think that I should be doing, just let me know in the comments. More than happy to hear it. So um, now we are about to get ready for the next match here. So just to give you guys an idea, so this is what our flight path looks like for this game. Again, it's uh, kind of uh, diagonal across the map, but a bit lower than the last one, and of course it's uh, in a different angle. But again, it's starting from the Milta Power region and uh, ending up closer towards Primor's side. So it does give a lot of teams opportunities to go to military base. Uh, I think we saw that there were no teams occupying it at all. The only that actually dropped on the military island was uh, Mista. Mista, um, I think we've seen them usually go to Nova, uh, Novo. Uh, in most of these games. I think in Milta and the north of Milta in the lumber camp, that's where we saw the early fight between uh, Mineski, no, not, not Mineski, oh uh, yeah, Mineski as well as MSK Poseidon. So MSK Poseidon unfortunately came out losing end of that battle and they went out in the um, first team. And uh, Pochinki, we did see actually there was only uh, one team that actually occupied it, if not mistaken, that was L Dogs. So L Dogs able to Yep, sorry, uh, L Dogs able to uh, get get the lion's share of the loot there, but unfortunately they moved into the circle a bit too late when Pachinki wasn't inside the circle, and then they were forced to fight with a lot of these teams like Raptors and uh, Resurgence. So the next plane for round number two is coming in. Now, we do see a huge number of teams actually deciding to um, drop very early here in the plane. Uh, I think GeekFam seem to be going to the same area that they went in the previous game, which is around the prison mansion side of things. And Lipovka, we're seeing uh, 
Raptors as well as um, looks like DPT if I'm not mistaken here. Now um, we don't see Mineski or uh, MSK Poseidon dropping this region here. Uh, we do see Resurgence going for their traditional strategy, um, but it looks as though it'll be uncontested. Same thing with um, Mista over here. They're going to go to Novo and have a time there. Now we do see that Frostfire as well as MBT from Malaysia have decided to occupy uh, Milta town uh, together here, but they are actually quite in close proximity, but MBT have got the higher concentration here. So Frostfire needs to be a little bit careful that they don't actually uh, overstep them their boundaries a little bit. Uh, but Sophia is actually moving closer to them, and the circle is very southern here. It looks like a very high chance that we could have a military island finish here. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see here. We do see a lot of teams actually deciding to drop around here. Gum Esports having uh, Primorsk all to themselves actually in the Morsk here. So that's going to be pretty good for them. Um, there's no teams going in the north here. We do see DPT actually uh, opting to go all the way north uh, for their looting phase. Now, you do see here that Demon Eater has decided to come in a, a bit closer to his teammates. Uh, Elliot is a little bit far away. But we do see here Red Sea all in an altercation together with DPT. Oh, sorry, then uh, I think that was TNC Five Peaks at, um, at Yasnaya. So DPT occupying this uh, region north west of uh, northeast of the apartments here and able to claim an early kill here. And it looks as though that uh, squad number 18 able to get uh, team extends from Singapore, sorry. Uh, able to get that early elimination on the sparsely populated areas here. So Kai SG, uh, all by himself here, able to get that that uh, frag onto Kaio there. So unfortunately, early casualty for them. Now we do see a lot of teams actually deciding to go up north here. If not mistaken, this is um, MSK Poseidon going to South George, uh, try and get that looting phase. They have managed to secure a few vehicles to their name, so it should present with a decent opportunity now we do see here the team members of frostfire deciding to bug out a little bit here and not wanting to face too much against the early pressure from mbt now they're probably gonna move to the surrounding smaller buildings just to make sure that they can have a successful um phase now we do see here that red sea has opted to uh, stick around the school and rozok area but last game i think they were more central around rozok but here they were more sparsely um, uh, separated actually, and that's why I, they actually lost one of their players to DPT. Now, meanwhile, in Yasnaya, we do know that um, there are three teams here now. There is TNC Five Peaks, squad number three, as well as uh, DPT have rotated in after getting vehicles from the, the school side of things. And Pizza After Sex actually going very close and taking some hits here uh, from the, the team members of TNC5 Peaks here. And he goes down, unfortunately. And that's going to be a early loss for DPT. So something that they didn't really need in this early game here. And uh, Mavzi now aware of um, the presence from other teams in Yasnaya. He's deciding to bug out with his vehicle. Um, now Jabu getting an early uh, knock onto snow templars here um now they are in the gatka region at the moment um see here that msk poseidon does have some presence here and putting up some fire on connor or o'connor and uh we do see here the two members from potato squad squad 19 deciding to bug out just a little bit um now not sure what how much they knew about that but um they are getting a little bit of distance here but uh, elsewhere, we do see here that Jabu is very close to two of the members from uh, Snow Templar. So Jonathan, I think, was uh, knocked down just now. So um, luckily, Esko Sar was very close by. Uh, but it looks as though that they are fighting on multiple fronts here, um, Tato Squad, as they knock down O'Connor uh, a bit further north here, as they start to um, concentrate themselves around this area here as they look to back up their team here. And Revenge looks as though that he will get one of the, the first loot drops of uh, the game here. It approaches from the sky. Not sure if I can see what is inside the air, but it is an AWM. So Revenge 
looking to uh, put the hurt on other teams with that monstrous weapon. So that's be interesting. We had one in the last game. Um, now, you see here, there are some rotations coming in here as some of the teams are deciding to try and see what they can get. But Crescenia, all alone here, able to still get that frag onto Potato Squad. So he's going to chalk up that early kill as uh, the rest of Potato Squad is starting to congregate a bit more. But the rest of MSK is all the way in South George. They are starting to rotate down a little bit now. And we do see here Frostfire opting to uh, rotate onto the military island reasonably early here as they were pushed out of Milta by MBT earlier on. Now they do have this section here. I think Fire Blaster is able to spot these team members and he's going to relay that information members blue circle is starting to uh, to converge uh so these teams are going to have to start making their way over pretty soon here now we do see here that one number 10 under w club from vietnam uh only have two players here in the south of yes they do um have a lot of distance between them and tnc five peaks so it looks as though that they are deciding to bug out early they do have a um a bike at their disposal so that should be okay for them but other teams are deciding to, to move in pretty close here and uh, dog z able to get a, a knock onto rito from our uh in the region between milta and milta power here as uh they look to press the issue here atun able will be able to get up the res here but unexpected is pushing up here and ang is trying to put up that that fire here as best he can cj is returning fire here uh ang taking some serious hits there and uh he's still exposed a little bit here but mad dog was already uh eliminated for dog z here as uh they had a unfortunate altercation in the early game here now unexpected is starting to advance on rito and atun here um, but he is a little bit outnumbered. He's going to have to wait for the rest of his team members here. Now, Big Blue Bird goes down here uh, to the solo player from uh, Z Gods here. So he's going to bug out after he managed to get the drop on uh, MSK Poseidon. So MSK Poseidon, unfortunately, one person down early on in this game. So Voidless is currently uh, in the vicinity, but they're not going to be able to do too much with that uh, rotation that's ongoing here. Now, Resurgence has... Managed to finish looting up on the military base and they are moving in. Now Ang was knocked down already. Uh, CJ advancing and pressing the issue. Only Rito uh, still up for, for Team CR. But CJ gets knocked down as well as uh, Rito tries to make the best of that hard cover there. Unexpected going down as well. So Rito really coming out big here uh, as the last player up at the moment. But he's got like no health left here and that's Abi. Gets the drop on him, opening the door and coming out from the side, flanking him. So that is it for Team CR. They are the first team to go out in this game here. So unfortunate for them, uh, they are going to have to wait in the lobby. So Blue Circle is coming in here. Vehicles from the, the school side of things. And Pizza After Sex, actually. Oh, sorry, guys. Trying to monitor this. Uh, so now we do see a lot of teams converging around the, the western bridge to the military island here. And uh, Mineski is coming through this zone here. GeekFam is also trying to, to get through here. Jang's in a, taking quite a number of hits here, but he should be able to get away here. But oh my god, look at the airtime on that. Now he, he manages to get out unscathed from that one. Uh, but they are still taking lots of fire here as we do see Squad 18 extends from... Singapore also in the vicinity opting to go for one of these buildings out here as they're not convinced that uh, they can get through without facing too much pressure from Mineski as they did see that the rotation coming in from Ethan was not uh, gone unopposed so to speak. Now um, other teams have moved a little bit. Now we did see that uh, the rotation from uh, Mister has gone right across from uh, Frostfire Though they were right in the way. Now Red Sea, one of the last teams to, to move inside the circle at the moment. Um, probably have to hope that the circle is not going to be out of their favor. Especially since uh, in these situations where the circle could uh, go on to the military island, you do not want to make too many uh, rotations across the bridges. At most, you want to do it once as you put your team through so much risk. As we did see that in GeekFam's case, they had to go through that 
uh, hot zone occupied by Mineski just to get on towards the bridge, not even across it yet. Now they've decided to act as the gatekeepers here, but uh, we do see that Z Gods have decided to uh, bump up a little close here, but they do notice the presence from the other teams and not willing to uh, put themselves at too much risk. MBT here uh, putting some fire on the, the long rotation from squad 10 under W Club, um, but no, no knocks unfortunately for MBT. So circle is almost finished here, but we do see here that the two members from um, yeah, the last two members from Dog Z, unfortunately, they took a, a couple early losses here. They're going to try and rotate uh, through Milta. They should be safe along the beach here as the rest of the team, uh, MBT, are very much on the higher buildings here. Oh, and we look as though that we will have a military island finish, guys. So this could prove to be uh, particularly interesting. We'll have to see these teams starting to make their rotations across the bridge now. MBT trying to move fast here. They do notice uh, the presence of the two members from Dog Z over here. Dog Z deciding to get in the vehicles themselves as the MBT looks to solidify the position here. Now Geek Fam is acting as the gatekeeper at the bridge here. Um, making life difficult for all these teams. Mineski is trying to run the gauntlet here. And uh, they lose Luvius in. Goes down in a ball of flames here. As uh, there is a good spread from Geek Fam. Savior on the high ground. Modi and Jangs all kind of spread out here. They only have three players at the start of the game here. But Mineski losing a couple of players early here. And uh, Savior is very close to Grissom. He will be able to confirm the kill probably for, uh, on Grissom. And leaving only Ace as the sole player left alive for Mineski. So this is not going to plan for them after they managed to take home the chicken dinner and they are eliminated and they go out in 19th position. So they drop some significant placement points from that exchange, guys. Now, looking at how things are developing here, Raptors did decide to rotate, uh, if not mistaken, by boat, coming all the way over here, avoiding a lot of the hurt here. Uh, um, and also we do see, do see that uh, Gum Esports did manage to also uh, rotate inside uh, Military Island without too many problems here. And they will try and loot what they can or occupy whatever territory. Now, we do see here that Knight Sabes has gone down here um, for Dog Z and uh, not looking good for them as uh, they only have one player left up for them. CJ deciding to go across the bridge already. And uh, we do see here L Dogs deciding to, to rotate. Through this zone here, Mr. Wick all by himself for TNC 5 Peaks, not able to uh, put too much hurt, but he did see he was outnumbered and decided to bug out in his uh, motor vehicle as soon as he could. Now Red Sea is deciding to now rotate through the, the eastern bridge here, and they are facing a lot of fire from MBT, so MBT uh, really trying to make it as difficult as possible and make their rotation in later. Red Sea deciding to bug out a little bit here as they don't want to face too many problems going through this zone. Now, we do see resurgence under a lot of long-range fire from Gum Esports, who have now spotted their position after they have taken the high ground here. Resurgence, a uh, little bit split here as they have Aeon WCS um, in the southwestern part of the military base here, and as, as the other two members are a little bit separated here. Savior deciding to run the gauntlet here now. Geek Fam still strong at their three men that they had started the game with. Uh, getting the four kills from uh, Mineski in the process here. Now, more rotations are coming in here. CJ just trying to find whatever space that he can. The, all the remaining teams here are going to have to move in here. And it looks as though Geek Fam has got this central uh, south position here at their disposal. Now, Squad 18 is going to have to move extents. Uh, they do have the vehicles at... Uh, there as well, but Crescenia trying to make things difficult, and he manages to get the knock on Jabu and Tangurian uh, falls off the bike there and able to pick up a nice two kills for MSK Poseidon here. So MSK Poseidon uh, acting as the gatekeepers. We have to see whether or not they actually want to stay in this position and prevent the other players. It looks as though Extens wants to go for a swim here, not willing to fight the potential teams that are on the bridge here. But uh, it's not without uh, incident here, and it's going to be difficult for them to actually swim unless they find uh, a, a vehicle. They find a boat here. Crescenia are going to try and do his best to snipe out the players inside the boat here. And uh, it is disaster for Extents. They get eliminated just like that by 
MSK Poseidon. So MSK Poseidon chalking up a number of kills there and they have six in total so far. Uh, so they will go into their rotation uncontested. Now it's still focused very much on the central part of the island here and uh, also covering the compound that currently uh, Geekfam is occupying. So Red Sea finally moving in here, but Frostfire is here to greet X, uh, X Dawn. So X Dawn having to drop his bite because it's uh, the verge of blowing up here, but he has found another one. But it looks as though Jung and Demon Eater gonna try and put the hurt on him and that looks as though it's going to be difficult and that is it for Red Sea. Also, uh, Papa Zeit and uh, Target going down to Asmix from MBT who are on the edge of the circle and still acting very much as the gatekeeper here. And it looks as though CJ able to get the elimination here on Aeon WCS here as he tried to retreat from that building that Gam Esports was uh, really giving him a hard time and it uh, looks as though the hard time is not going to end just yet. Um, now we do see here Raptors also trying to get in on some of the action as they see Gum Esports now from their southwestern position on the island here. Uh, they currently occupy two buildings here. They have a 2-2 split here. They could offer reasonable fire, but they are single story buildings. They won't be able to offer too much uh, in the way of beneficial position, but hardcover is still better than none. And uh, Christania deciding to go through this zone as well and Gum Esports uh, will surely chalk up the kill here, but... Uh, oh, it looks as though Papa Flame from Resurgence manages to steal that kill. Uh, so, unfortunate for Gum Esports, their uh, efforts have gone in vain here. Now, we do see here uh, in the northern part of the island that L Dog Squad number 20 putting some pressure onto DPT, and uh, Mavzi goes down here. Um, Iman deciding to bug out even further and not let his team uh, die in vain here. Now, Blue Zone is still coming in, and we do see here that Dogs uh, Z Gods is still moving in here uh, on the edge over on this side. We have Snow Templar um, also moving in. They should be able to get inside the circle, but now Mista has moved closer to the military base and have started engaging with MBT, who has started to move in from the edge of the circle. They currently occupy this compound on the northeastern side of the military base, uh, and it looks as though like it's a, a reasonably strong fortification. They are spread out a little bit as MBT is um, still stuck on the hill there. They do have a good vantage point to stop other teams, but they didn't decide to shoot at Z-Gods uh, over there in that particular instance. Now, two members left alive for TNC. Five peaks putting up some long-range fire on the rotation from Crossfire in the distance. Um, sorry, three, three team members for um, TNC Five Peaks. And we do see that in the center of the C building compounds for the military base, we do have under W Club trying to uh, occupy this area and Momoji they knock down but it looks as though Quadro getting in on some of the action for Resurgence who's still in the control tower and the nade finishes off uh, Momoji by BMC so that is it for Z Gods they go out in 15th position here um, but unfortunately the under W Club has lost one of their own players Iman just trying to stay as hidden as possible in the flower beds in the center of the barracks complex now, Circle has shifted. Geek Fam is going to have to move. Raptors is going to have to move as well as Gum Esports. Uh, now, there is a, a very daring rotation, and Mr. Wick blows up into a ball of flames here as he decides to try and scout out uh, another rotation as um, his team TNC 5 Peaks is all the way um, in this southeastern part of the circle here. So, unfortunately, it didn't bode well. Um, they're going to have to make do with the two players that they have left here. Frostfire, after taking a lot of fire long distance um, from TNC 5 Peaks, they have finally moved inside here. But Elliot taking some hits here, um, as there are a number of teams all with clear line of sight. Sprax also putting up some shots here, uh, together with uh, Papa Flame for Resurgence. So now we are seeing all these, these teams rotate here. Jank's going to try and uh, see what he can do on the rotation here from uh, Raptors here. They take some hits, but the bike will be too far away and too fast. Uh, they still manage to land another hit, so good for that, but I'm not able to, to seal the deal further on that. So uh, Demon Eater also goes down. One of the uh, uh, strong performers from the first game for Frostfire from, due to the um, lines of uh, sight that MBT has. They're still occupying this 
kill here as they do know that Mista is very close and Mista is looking to prevent the advance from L Dogs as they look to get inside the zone here. Uh, Fire Blaster able to get a knock on Twitch Chance here, but uh, looks as though Frostfire also able to get another knock onto. Uh, one of the players from TNC Five Peaks, a little bit of revenge there, and t uh, Twitch Chance goes down. The kill is confirmed, but Fire Blaster is down at the moment. DJ Strong and um, and Co Arts deciding to move in here. Paku Paku watching the door here, but he goes down here as his helmet gets blown off by DJ Strong here with his AKM. But he's going to have to pop the heal here. But uh, the support from Mista is not going to be able to help, and unfortunately, that's it for uh, Dog Z. So Dog Z not having. Uh, the best of days so far, um, not able to replicate some of their dominant performances the last uh, couple of days here, but there's every chance that they can still show their quality. Now, we do see here that the, the three team members from um, L-Dogs have consolidated their position. They managed to finish off the kill of the Mista player, and Private Dumb facing down more AKM fire. Uh, as he looks to try and fend them off, but uh, it's only a matter of time before they start moving in here as uh, Kamatis comes and tries to get the flank on Fire Blaster, getting a few shots on him, uh, but he has dropped down into prone position and he will be able to stay alive for a time being, but Raptors is currently uh, facing a lot of pressure from the, the Geek Fan boys here. Um, as they were rotating through this area here and Savior going to put the hurt on to backtrack here. He confirms the kill on him, but it looks as though Gum uh, Esports able to get backtracked there as the last squad member goes down here and they are going to put a lot of fire onto Geek Fam who are currently on the edge of the circle here but there is still long distance and they don't have the best of elevations to actually prevent that from happening but Savior able to get the, the headshot here so he's already got two kills to his name Modi has got three uh, for a total of five for Geek Fam so they're doing pretty decently so far in this game now we do see that the two remaining members from um, MSK Poseidon are deciding to stay in the one of the warehouses on the edge of the circle here as we are ready for the next phase here. Now the the three players, oh sorry, there are still three players from Mista, my mistake, um, fighting together with the team members from L Dog. So the circle is very central here, favoring the the single three single splits from Resurgence. So Resurgence is going to have to be careful about which uh, fights that they take because once they get knocked down, that's pretty much going to be it unless they have like some of the vehicles to, to take. But they are able to cover each other very well using this position. Now Asmix is getting in the mix here and able to get the knock on DJ Strong as uh, we do still see that l Dogs haven't been able to advance further here. Now Mista maybe can press the issue here as they are still... Three men up, they did see the kill feed, um, but not really pressing the issue here. But L Dogs unfortunately lost one of their players earlier on, uh, and now down to two here. Now Asmix is coming down here, and uh, they are currently going to be on the edge of the zone here, which is going to move at, in just a moment. Revenge goes down again, unfortunately, not able to make the best use of the AWM at his disposal that he picked up. Uh, early on in the game here now we do see here Nobby coming in really daringly here with his bike here as he looks to try and find DJ Strong. DJ Strong still um, trying to just stay alive and he's the last player up for L Dogs. Uh, Rexen is down also for MBT. MBT uh, in a little bit of trouble but uh, Tyler popping off the heel here should be able to get it uh, get his player up unless he gets third party by another team here, but oh, they are tr trying to move in or rather uh, L dogs were and they get annihilated by uh, Mister here. So Rexen down, Tyler is down, Nobby is the only player left up after he took that bike ride over. Now Mister looking strong with the three play players that they have alive there. Now Geek Fam in a little precarious uh, position here. Savior is uh, currently being pinned by Resurgence as well as Gum. Gum currently uh, taking uh, position here, but it looks as though Savior able to come up big for a Geek Fam and he gets the two kills on the final players from Gum Esports. So Gum Esports goes out in 10th position here, but Brax does have their, their six. He is trying to see what he can of the Geek Fam guys, but it looks as though that is the distance is a bit great and they do have the concrete barrier at their disposal. So that should be okay. Now, we do see here that DPT 
with their last player is uh, currently facing uh, elimination here as the circle is moving in. He is trying to move in as late as possible. I'm not sure that um, Under W Club knew that he was hiding in the flower bed all this while so far in this game. Now, he should be okay. Uh, Papa Flame uh, trying to get some shots also on Geek Fam, who are currently um, still very much by the concrete barrier here. They also have that car available to them that proved so vital in that um, instance uh, or the fight with Gum Esports. Now, the circle has shifted very much in uh, Resurgence's favor here now. Um, Eman just going to try and get the heal off as he now has the attention from the rest of the players uh, over here. And it looks as though Gaul able to get the, that kill for under W Club. Now, uh, Frostfire has moved into this compound. We see Quadro deciding to um, get his team members and so that they can... Concentrate their fire here as they get to this stage here. Now Geekfam is moving along the zone here. They might drop in on Brax here. So Brax currently uh, is inside the hangar. So is uh, Papa Flame and Quadro for Resurgence here. So they have got a bit of cover here. Frostfire uh, taking the high ground position over that uh, inaccessible hangar. Uh, but since there are not that many teams on that side, they should be able to, to stay alive and also put the hurt on all these other teams coming in here. Now, uh, it looks as though MSK Poseidon uh, up against the wall here. Voidless goes down. Um, not without getting one knock first by Yustar. Under a lot of pressure, but Jonathan is going to come in and uh, try and put some other pressure. But Jonathan goes down together with the rest of Snow Templar. So Snow Templar are eliminated here. And uh, we do see Geek Fam sneaking their way here. Uh, one player left alive for uh, MSK Poseidon, Yusar. Facing off against the two members of... Uh, of under W Club, U Star coming up big here with that knock there, and uh, he manages to get both of them. So that's well played for him. But uh, MSK Poseidon down to one player now, so he's got his work cut out for him. All these other teams have at least, yeah, we have uh, one, two, three, four teams of three here as uh, we're moving in for the final circle. Uh, well, one of the, some of the final circles, anyways. So. Looking from this point of view, we do see that these uh, hangers do offer quite a bit of cover here. Mr. probably in a precarious position. Those um, containers over there on the northeastern side of this military compound. Uh, U-Star is almost inside, uh, moving towards that factory or com industrial complex. Now, Geekfam, after staying hidden for so long, they have managed to get all the way next to the mound here, which is occupied by Brax. Now, a lot of these teams won't want to make any rash moves here. They are all pretty much inside the zone, but Savior has been spotted by uh, Papa Flame. So Brax is going to know now that he's in potential danger here, but he will be able to be covered by his team members across the, the airstrip over here. And uh, these teams are going to have to decide to make their moves pretty quickly if they really do have to shift as the next circle is about to reveal itself. Oh, and it looks as though that Resurgence as well as um, Frostfire are in the driver's seat here. So it's going to be incredibly difficult for Mista to come out here. Not only will Yusar most likely open fire, um, there's just going to be too much, uh, too many angles that has to be covered here. Now, Jangs is taking a few hits. Uh, nothing that a few uh, meds won't help with. Um, but yeah, they do have this good vantage point here. They will be able to be inside the circle, yet prevent others from getting in there. Now we see Ustar also trying to, to advance here as the last player from MSK Poseidon here. I don't think he knows exactly how many people are in front of him, but uh, he gets the knock on Private Dumb, but Fire Blaster able, able to prevent the trade there. Um, and uh, Ustar will be able to get their three players up alive. Now, it will be a very much... Three man strong for all of these squads that we see here as uh, Geekfam has managed to spot exactly where the other members from Resurgence are. So they're also going to see the shots coming out from, from Frostfire on the, to their north east. So now it looks as though it's incredibly difficult here for Mista here as they're facing all these long range shots here as Youngwei gets the Car 98 headshot on Fire Blaster who is on the move there. So nice shot 
coming out from him as his team looks to prevent that further incursion from Mr. Now, we do see here that GeekFam is deciding to deploy a number of smokes here as they, they look to get make their move inside the circle here, deploying whatever utility that they have available. They are blocking out the lines of sight from Resurgence here as uh, Savior is trying to move in first here. He gets some shots on Yungwei, but he's going to try and shoot him uh, with his current yeah, He lands the shot here, but it looks as though Mr. is coming up here and uh, Savior, you know, spot of bother. Mori also goes down as Brax comes out of the, the hangar here to try and shoot the GeekFam guys. But uh, Brax also goes down, but uh, unfortunately that is it for GeekFam as they get stuck in too much of a crossfire here as they try and make that transition. But uh, Resurgence will be down to two players and Mista is already down to two players in that confusion. Uh, they did manage to get over to this side of the circle here. Now Frostfire does have their three players up, but Elliot was knocked down, so... It will be a bit precarious. Um, they're missing one helmet rather uh, oddly, and this circle is even more crazy for these remaining teams here, especially for Mista as well as um, Resurgence. Resurgence still very much inside the hangar here. They do know that players from Mista are actually uh, on top of them, and they have to prevent themselves from getting shot in the back. But Mista also knowing that they face a, a struggle to get out there, they are going to try and uh, put as much fire as they can. The uh, boys from from Malaysia Frostfire are deciding to stay there and it looks as though Resurgence is planning a daring move. They're going to drive out of the hangar and try and set up some fortification that they can make sure that they can stay alive in the circle because there is no hangar underneath Frostfire here. They're going to have to come down as well or on the very edge where they will be very exposed. Now circle is closing in here. Second to last circle here, and Resurgence is making their move. They're driving out here, and uh, they're going to face a lot of fire here from all of these teams here. As Papa Flame goes down almost immediately, uh, and uh, Crossfire trying to make their move as well. But Ping Pong able to lock down a number of shots here. Private Dumb also contributing uh, substantially here as Quadro comes in and able to seal the deal on uh, Sophia. So he managed to, to get in alive for... For them, but unfortunately, he gets uh, picked off by ping pong uh, on the other side there, and uh, these the circle is closing in here. Private Dumb is down, but um, ping pong is the last player up for Mista. But Yongwei, as the last player up for uh, Frostfire, he's able to seal the deal and bring home the chicken dinner. Clutch play from him as uh, Frostfire turns in a nice six kills. So a decent tally for them. And uh, in second place, we did have uh, Mista from Philippines able to come up with seven kills in that game as they managed to um, really move out of that difficult position, which uh, looked as though that Frostfire was really going to prevent them from uh, advancing further. And uh, in third place, we do have Resurgence from Singapore uh, coming out with eight kills there. Now, they did make that daring play to try and drive over to the, the hangar that was uh, currently within Frostfire's territory there. So Papa Flame unfortunately went down straight away, but Quadro is able to get in there and still able to eliminate Sophia in that particular instance. So, um, But unfortunately, they were in too much of a crossfire uh, in that last situation there with Mista, and he went out leaving Resurgence in third place in Geek Fam. They had a tough circle. They tried to deploy all the smokes that they could in that uh, that instance, but Brax really made it difficult. And uh, yeah, while they were able to block out the line of sights between the two players of Quadro and Papa Flame, um, it was not enough as uh, the, the team members from Frost, Frostfire was able to really put up a lot of concentrated uh, firepower back onto them, but they managed to snake their way all the way across the the airfield in that instance. Now that is it for Erangel and our round two of this evening's um, PUBG Southeast Asia Scrim City matches, guys. Um, so we are going to take a short break as we get ready for Miramar FPP two rounds. Uh, so yeah, we will see you in a bit. My name is Jay, and you're watching Play of the Jay.